Katika masuala ya vita vya kisiasa katika mkoa wa Pwani mkuu wa eneo hilo John Elungata amewahakikishia kazi kuwa serikali kuu imeweka walinda usalama wa kutosha kabla ya siku ya uchaguzi hapo Agosti tisa kuhakikisha kuwa mambo yatakuwa sawa serikali ijayo itakapochukua uongozi. Akizungumza katika kaunti ya Mombasa wakati wa mpango wa kuwashirikisha vijana juu ya hatari za kujihusisha na mihadarati na kusababisha vita wakati wa uchaguzi Elungata ameonya kuwa mkondo wa sheria utawafikia wale ambao watajihusisha na mihadarati na kusababisha vurugu kabla wakati wa uchaguzi na baada ya uchaguzi Na watu wengi wamekuwa kufikiria kwamba ili kampeni iwe na moto lazima vijana wanyweshwe mvinyo pombe <coughs> hasa ile haramu kwa sababu ndiyo inawezekana kupatikana kwa njia ya uraisi na pia mihadarati bangi mostly na labda cocaine lakini ukweli ni kwamba wale wote ambao wamejaribu kuleta mambo kama hayo wamekamatwa ukiangalia record zetu tumeshika bangi nyingi sana ambayo inateremshwa kuja hapo Mombasa e, kutoka sehemu zingine za nchi na hata kutoka nchi jirani na hiyo itaendelea hata kama ni siku ya uchaguzi yenyewe. Kwa hivyo hakuna wakati tuta suspend sheria hata kwa sababu kuna kampeni inaendelea ama kuna uchaguzi unaendelea. Kwa sababu ile nexus uhusiano kati ya mihadarati, ulevi na na vurugu wakati wa uchaguzi inaonekana Elungata ameomba wanasiasa kuacha walinda usalama wakiwemo wachifu na maafisa wa polisi kufanya kazi yao ifaavyo wakati wa uchaguzi akisema kuwa programu hiyo ililengwa kuhakikisha kuwa wanasiasa tapeli hawatatumia vibaya vijana ili kusababisha vurugu. Kuna polisi wanatumiwa kulinda amani, kujenga amani kama vile machifu wako hapa. Kwa ni kazi yao machifu uwezi kuwatoa kwa wananchi machifu wako na wananchi kila wakati hata siku ya uchaguzi kuna mtu ataenda kwa chifu kutafuta usaidizi wake you know eh, maisha hayasimami kwa sababu kuna uchaguzi unaendelea kwa hivyo huwezi kumtoa chifu kwa mwananchi eh, na huwezi kutoa polisi kwa mwananchi po, polisi ni rafiki wa mwananchi na ni mtumishi wake kwa hivyo ningependelea tusiwataje sana machifu na polisi wakati wa uchaguzi ni wakati wao wa kufanya kazi. Unajua ni wakati wao wa kufanya kazi hata zaidi. Kwa upande wake, Victor Okioma amewasihi vijana kujitahadharisha na utumizi mbaya wa pombe na madawa za kulevya ambazo zinafanya sauti zao zisisikike katika jamii. Akisema kuwa wanasiasa kama wanaotaka utumizi wa bangi kuhalalishwa wanafaa watoe maelezo kamili kuhusu swala hilo. And those young people who might be persuaded by those pronouncements of politicians to indulge in uh, offenses around that act, they will face the law. We have also said uh, Wajakoya is not being so truthful and is not giving out enough information. You know it just says Uganda has legalized uh, cannabis. But it doesn't say that Uganda has actually legalized the production for pharmaceuticals and it is under very strict controls. He's not saying that. So when people say if Uganda has legalized, why are we not legalizing in Kenya? He says South Africa has legalized. South Africa has legalized actually recreational cannabis. But you cannot take your stuff where there are people. Even your own wife. You do an offense and you will be arrested. So you must create your own space where you can smoke. Shirika la Nakada limeandaa kampeni ya kuwahamasisha viongozi mia tano wa vijana katika kaunti kumi. Kampeni hiyo ikilenga kuwapa vijana jukwala kujihusisha vyema, kubadilishana mawazo kuhusu namna bora ya kujihusisha na mchakato wa kisiasa, usio na matumizi mabaya ya pombe na dawa za kulevya.